Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got a ton of emulation news for you. We're talking about the Switch, 3DS, PlayStation 2, Xbox, Lemuroid, as well as Jam.gg. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. Skyline has got better yet again. And this update here should be pretty darn good news for people who have Mali GPUs. Now, it's absolutely no secret that the best emulation experience on Android is a result of having a Snapdragon processor with an Adreno GPU. But not every device out there has a Snapdragon with an Adreno in it. And for those devices that have a Mali GPU, well, your emulation experience with Skyline has been horribly broken. And it still kind of is. Unity games are still not supported, but they have made a bit of progress here. Celeste, for example, is up and running at 60 frames a second with no real graphical issues if you have a powerful device. And that is, I would say that's a big win for Mali users. Take what you can get here. Next up, we're talking about PS2 emulation with Aether SX2. In previous videos, we mentioned that Aether SX2 was expanding from Android to ARM desktops as well, Linux, Mac, and Windows. Well, in those previous videos, only the Mac build was available, but now the Linux build is up and ready to go on the website. The Windows build isn't here just yet, but I'm assuming it'll be here relatively shortly. I'll drop a link to the site in the description below. So if you do have a 64-bit ARM Linux device, well, you can pick up the app image here absolutely free. And if you've got a Raspberry Pi 4, because it won't work on the Pi 3, you will have to use Vulkan drivers, and I think at the time of filming, it only works with Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Moving on now to Xbox emulation on PC with Zemu. Zemu just got updated and it's a heck of a lot better. This new version of Zemu has a ton of bug fixes and improvements, including some graphical fixes here for titles like Blinks, Need for Speed Underground, Splinter Cell, Half-Life 2, Halo, and a bunch more. On top of that, for Windows users, Zemu is now compatible with PS5 controllers as well as Xbox Series X controllers. And for those wondering about the overall game compatibility for Zemu, things are looking a little bit better. They still have a ways to go here, but at the time of filming, there are 21 games that are listed as perfect. A whopping 652 listed as playable, we have 254 listed as starts, 93 for the intro only, and 15 listed as broken. So the vast majority are playable at this time. Next up, we're talking about the all-in-one emulation solution, the easy mode version of Retroarch, Lemuroid. Lemuroid on Android just got a brand new update. If I scroll down here, there aren't a lot of points, but at the same time, these minor improvements are not too bad. The emulator is still active. They say here, improve visibility and style of touch controls. Improve touch controls positions on devices with a notch. Expose accurate shader multiplication setting on 3DS. Fix some game pads no longer detected. And fixed haptics on virtual key release on some devices. I would say these are more quality of life improvements, but at the same time, if you're using Lemuroid, you'll probably like this update. Next up, we're talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android, but not the version that's on the Google Play Store, the one that's available only on GitHub that's geared towards performance as opposed to emulation accuracy. Known as Citra, subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Citra MMJ, it's entirely up to you. Uh, there is a brand new update here. This one isn't big at all, but if you're using Citra MMJ, you might want to pick this one up because there are a ton of bug fixes in it. Next up, we're talking about online cloud emulation with PyPacker. If you don't know what PyPacker is, you don't really need to because they just rebranded to Jam.gg. Now at this point in time, I'm not quite sure on why they rebranded. They have grown significantly to over 2 million users and they did do an entire overhaul here. And I'm not quite sure what name I like better, Pie Packer, which was kind of funny, or uh, Jam. Let me know which name you like better in the comments below. At this point in time, Jam.gg has nine games available, and we do have some heavy hitters here, like Wind Jammers, Earthworm Jim, Metal Slug, and King of Fighters 98. Although nine games are only available, they will be adding more in the future, and there is an option here too to bring your own game, where you just use your own ROM and you can play with friends. It says here this feature is currently free in early access with the official launch in 2022 at some point. 
and I'm not sure if that feature will be paid in the future or if it'll be free as well. In addition to that, for any of those nine games, you don't need the ROM. You can click on them, boot right up, and play against someone. I'm playing against this person here, I guess, so I'll have some fun. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. If I miss something, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.